Intelligent Design. I'm thinking about doing it maybe a series, mostly focusing more of the things that are made by organic intelligence. But right now, this video is about bad design. Bad design is it are things made by intelligence forces like me or mankind that are badly designed? The answer is yes. There are recalls and things that will fail. This exists. So, if, from this reference saying that something is intelligent, that is not intelligently designed because it's badly, bad design is a fallacy. One would have to say natural forces are more likely to count for object X, and here's my logic, which can be tested. Intelligent design does not make argument does not identify the intelligent designer. The intelligent designer could be human or supernatural, which is a being that existence is un state of existence that is unknown to us. And in theology, I guess you could say there's bad design, but I consider it pretty good being an engineer, considering looking at all the design intricate complexity. When I say theology is pretty good design. The other question is comes to evolutionary models. Things that are badly designed, I can only conclude that they mu must escape natural selection's resolution or visibility, or not j visibility to natural selection, or natural selection had had time to refine it. And design is always judged relative to its environment. Computer model that I've sticks most of my mind is they did a antenna for I think it was radio signals. They use a selection algorithm trial and error, and it made a tenant better than what we, that a human could make. That, that gives you the impression of, if natural selection could see everything, then design would be perfect given enough time. And also, if bad, this idea of natural selection lack of resolution, I would like to study it more depth, but I just don't have the resources right now. But with me, I always see the bad design argument as fallacious. Oh yeah, last thing I want to say. Intelligent design is best studied if things made by what we know to be already designed that nature might be able to mimic, which we would need reasoning to, to sort out natural the natural forces and see what it can do, what humans could do or intelligence could do. And that includes this video. Okay. Also think the bad design argument lacks objectiveness. It's more than subjective since science is more focused on empirical results. It's difficult to determine what's good design or bad design other than outside the only judge is natural selection. There might be other cartoons, uh, but this must if ones should be a scientist, should always should try to strive for objective viewpoints, which other people can view.
instead of the more subjective opinion.